My name is Miss Welty and I am a teacher here at Three Trails and I'm going to be working with you and your teachers on technology. So I'm going to introduce two more amazing teachers who are also helping me. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Miller and I'm going to be helping today with our tech procedures video. And I'm Mrs. B and I'm helping her. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so while you were gone this summer, a lot of teachers and a lot of workers worked super hard to get three trails ready for you with technology. So what that means is in most classrooms, there is a Chromebook for every student. So every student here has a Chromebook that you can take with you based on what your teachers are okay with to different classes as well. So today we're going to teach you a little few pointers and a few things you need to know in order to be safe respectful and responsible with your Chromebooks and devices. Friends, now we are going to talk about being safe on the Chromebooks. Okay guys, so here's some things you need to know. This is the Chromebook. So they are labeled, this first little label right here, that number is the number that you are assigned to that your teacher will tell you that this is your Chromebook. So that will be your number. This number next to it is your classroom number. So if you ever see a Chromebook where it's not supposed to be, then this is the classroom where it's supposed to be, but first tell a teacher. Okay, here's another thing you need to know. This is the Chrome card that is the home to all of the Chromebooks. So as you can tell, it is numbered number one all the way through 40, except of course there's not that many Chromebooks in these cards, but one for every student. And if you don't have a Chrome card in your room, there are some classrooms that have Chrome cases. So there's cases that are nailed to the wall that have these Chromebooks that will be housed in that and that if that's you, your teacher will show you where that is and then how to use those soon. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to show you your login card. So you see those amazing green cards? These are all made for you. So each student has one and it will have on the other side, but since we're trying to keep and we always make sure we keep our personal information to ourselves, we are not showing our information, right? You see that? We're not showing that. So way to go. But on the side that they can see, we see that their email address with their username that they will type and then their password that only they will show. So that is information that is your information and you keep that to yourself. Nice job, guys. Thank you. So if you are on your Chromebook and you're typing or you're on the internet or on an app, something may come across that doesn't look safe or it may not look right. If that happens, what you're gonna to wanna to do, lower your Chromebook lid, just as you see Mrs. Miller doing, and raise your hand so your teacher can come over and help you and see how she, what she can do next to help. Here's a very important piece of information that I know everyone at Three Trails is gonna take such pride in doing so. So this is a really great strategy. If you need to carry your Chromebook around, because that happens a lot, right? You need to take your Chromebook from place to place. So here's the safe way to do it. Watch these amazing teachers do it in such a prideful way. So they are going to stand up and push their chairs first to be very safe. They are going to pick up their Chromebook with two hands. Look at that. Do we see, look at this, how they're holding it flat. They're not tilting it right? Or they're not putting it upside down. We can see the label and the Dell right there on the top of the lid. They're holding it and we have two thumbs on top. I see both of their thumbs. Awesome. And now they're going to take the Chromebook a little closer to them and they're going to just walk safely. Way to go. Oftentimes in our classrooms we have to get up and move, but we always have to make sure that we raise our hand if we want to move and take our Chromebook with us. So if that would be to be to go to a new flexible seating spot or to go to somewhere else in the room, we want to make sure. So yes, Mrs. Miller. May I please move seats? Yes, you may. Thank you. You're welcome. So as we notice, look at this little oops. We have some teachers drinking some water and eating fruit with their Chromebooks. So at school, we have to be very careful and safe and make sure that our food and drink is nowhere near our Chromebooks. So we're gonna make a safe choice, get that out of reach. And oh, thank you so much for making a good choice. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Mrs. Welty. Okay, so the next section that we're gonna talk about is being respectful with our Chromebooks. Are you ready? So oftentimes our teacher is talking 
and it's so hard to stop what you're doing as a student and to stop working, right? You just really, really want to keep doing what you're doing. So what we're going to do for being respectful is if a teacher is talking, like I'm talking right now, look at this amazing toy. So she stopped talking. And if a teacher were to ask, please close your Chromebooks, they're going to, they're going to close it just like that. And if a teacher is talking in general, it's always just an amazing choice to make sure that you close your Chromebook just in default and do the right thing and listen. Way to go. Okay, so also with being respectful, it's so important that we use nice words always when we're using our Chromebook, just like we try to strive to do in real life when we're talking to someone. So we can see that we have these two awesome teachers working together. They're using positive words as they are typing and as they're talking. And let's say that one of, one of the teachers here wanted to change the work of someone else because they're collaborating and working together. They're gonna make sure that they ask if that's okay and before they start changing work and moving on, they're gonna make sure that they're working as a team. Hey, Miss B, do you mind if I change the color of that? I think it would really help that title you have stand out. Is that okay? That's a really great idea and thanks for asking. Do you wanna do it or do you want me to do it? Um, I'll do it this time, you can do it next time. Perfect, thanks. Here is our last little piece of information about being respectful with our Chromebooks. So with our brand new Chromebooks, we wanna be very careful to make sure that we take very good care and that we're respectful of our Chromebooks. So over time, they can last, they can stay just, just as amazing as they are right now. So here's a few tips. As we see, look at how they're typing. They're very gentle as they're typing. They're not typing too hard. They're typing very gentle and they're not too hard on the keys, which will help them to last longer and help them stay just right and close with the Chromebook. Another thing that you want to do is watch how they close this. Instead of slamming the Chromebooks, they're just gently grabbing the Chromebook at the top of the lid and closing it very softly. Nice job. Thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it and we know that we're going to take such pride in our Chromebooks this year and for every year after this. Our last section that we're going to talk about is being responsible with our Chromebooks. Well, you may be wondering, how should I use my technology throughout this school year? So let's ask. Let's see what they're doing. I'm using technology to help my learning when I'm trying to figure out new calm down strategies to use. Nice job. Okay, I really like how she's using it to help her learning. Let's I go over here and see. Ask Mrs. Miller. To help my learning too. I am researching emperor penguins because I find them fascinating and I found this really awesome website on National Geographic Kids that has all these amazing facts about a penguin. That is so awesome. I can't wait to read what you find. So right now our teachers have to wash their hands. So after they're washing their hands, they're making sure that their hands get extremely dry. The reason why that we want the dry hands is first of all because that is safe for many reasons, but right now with being responsible, as we're using our Chromebooks, can you imagine what could happen to the Chromebooks and the technology if we used our Chromebooks and devices with wet hands? It could really hurt the device. So with their dry, hand, dry hands, now they are ready to learn and ready to rock and roll. We are going to be incredibly responsible here. And right now it's time for lunch. So that's super exciting, but we don't wanna run out without making sure that we close our Chromebooks and put them away. So this is what we're gonna do and we're gonna watch the teachers see how they do it. So first, they are going to exit out of the screen that they're on. As you can see, it's at the top right. And then we see their screensaver. They're done, they've logged out. So now they are going to, we see them logging out. Perfect. And sometimes your teacher may, since it's your Chromebook, they may ask you to stay logged in. So just make sure that you ask your teacher. But, and if you always wonder or you don't know what to do, it's always safe to log out just in case. So here is our Chromebook, it's closed. And now we're gonna watch them put it away in the Chrome cart. So I like how they push their chairs in first before getting up. And I like how they have two thumbs on their Chromebooks and it's straight. Oh, thank you. So as we see, the Chromebook number matches the number there below, one and one. It's slid in perfectly. 
And we see now that the plug is at the top. We want it to stay at the top. And we want to plug it in so it stays charged for the next time that I use it. All right, let's watch it one more time. Number two. So that's going to go in number two. Slid it in very slowly. Oh, and look, she remembered to plug it in. That is fantastic. Thank you for being responsible, ladies. Thanks, Ms. Wilson. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Let's take pride in our technology this year, Tigers.